Jesus. Thank you, Father, for what you have done. Thank you for bringing us, Lord, into the month of April. Thank you for bringing us here in good health. Thank you for bringing all of us here into the month of April. You did not allow the cold hand of death to snatch anyone out of our lives. We thank you for everything that you have done. We thank you for your love and kindness that you have showed us. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for you did not abandon us. We thank you for the, the plans of the enemy did not work out in our life. We thank you, Lord, for everything. We thank you. We say glory, honor, and adoration be unto your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for your merciful. You have been so mercy. Your kindness was upon us. Yes, you have mercy upon everything that concerns us. We say, blessed be your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father, for our family. Thank you, O oh Lord, for, for our brothers and sisters. Thank you, O oh Lord, for our parents. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the church. Thank you, O oh Lord, for this platform. Thank you for every member the, on this platform. Thank you for the life of our children. Thank you for the life of our loved ones. We say glory be unto your holy name. Father, we thank you for what the enemy planned, their thought, their plan, it did not come to pass. Just as Isaiah chapter 7 verse 7 said it, all, all their plan, it didn't work out. It did not come to pass. It did not stand. Their thought, their decree, their, their communicate that they, you know, their agreement, all was shattered. We say glory be unto your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory be unto your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, kings of kings. Blessed be your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to thank God for what God has done. I want to thank God for, you know, we, are, we cross over into this month in celebrate, we cross over celebrating and say, Father, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank God for the life of uh, 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 of Pastor B, our mommy here. I say, Father, thank you for upholding her. Thank you for protecting her. Say, blessed be unto your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as God has done great and mighty things, I want you, I want you to take a moment and open your mouth and begin to declare, Say, Father, for the gift that you have given unto her, that you have given into this family, into this family as a whole, Father, no issue, not, the enemy will not have access, the enemy will not have access even to her health, into anything that concerns her, into her life. We will not be celebrating that the enemy sneak in from where we do not know and cause havoc in her life. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer that wherever she is this moment, that God will protect her, God will cover her. We cover her with the blood of Jesus, that no evil, no sickness, no, no, no temptation, nothing at all, nothing from the, the side of the camp of the enemy will, will, will come near her in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree today that as God has... God that protected her from the beginning of that journey till the day she delivered, that that God will continue to protect her. He will not allow the enemy to rise up from anywhere and attack her. He will not allow the enemy, the cup of the enemy, to celebrate over her victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We always like to seek the Lord early. We seek God early. We don't wait until maybe something happens, until when something happens before we begin to pray. No, we pray ahead. We pray ahead. That's why you see we always overcome. You will overcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will overcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
I welcome you into your month of balancing. The Lord God Almighty will balance every situation in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said the Lord God Almighty will balance up every situation in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to take a moment to thank God for what God has done in our life. I will not delay. I will not wait. But let me just use this opportunity to say, Lord, thank you for you are good and your mercy endured forever. Yes, after yesterday ministration, yes, a testimony comes in. He said, after last night, he said, I had a dream that I found and was, I found and was gathering everything that I, I had lost in past years. Listen, after that prayer, you know, after that prayer, a testimony comes that when she slept, she had a dream that that she that he said I found and was gathering everything that I had lost in past years. I was collecting so much and asking myself, how will I carry all of this? He said, I collected so many different pulses, among other things. It was like a mountain. Hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, that was a testimony. That was a testimony. I thank God for this, that visitation. You know, when we when we pray that prayer, we pray that prayer, and God answer. What 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 does this testimony it tells us? It is it, it, literally telling us that our petition that we submitted, our petition that was accepted was answer you know i told you that for some people the answer will come immediately and for some people the answer might come out after three days and for some people it might come after 10 days so be vigilant because your answer will come in the mighty name of jesus just as this testimony comes i decree in the mighty name of jesus that everything everything that they have stolen from you from you whatsoever that they collected from you you will take it back in the mighty name of jesus it will not just be spiritually or in the dreamland that you have seen it but physically it will manifest physically in the mighty name of jesus you know why we pray that prayer yesterday one of the prayer points you know one of the one of the prayer points while the prayer was on we said we you know no, we, we don't have pity for anyone who is standing as an obstacle that whosoever the person might be that we do what we take it back. Let fire of God consume whosoever that is standing to cause hindrances, whosoever that is standing to cause pain that will not allow our joy to be full. And as such, the Lord God Almighty released fire into their cabin, releases fire. And tonight, I decree upon the name of the Lord, I decree upon whosoever, any man, any woman, that what belongs to her has been taken away. Let the fire of God consume, let the fire of God consume that camp. Let it consume that shrine. Let it consume that altar, that evil altar, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it consume everything that they use in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And the second one says, he said, I, I dreamt a little alligator beat my son, beat my son on his leg, but I caught the alligator. He said, I caught alligator off his leg. Man the brass cool up in the Rika theater and destroy it mm, and destroy it. I decard the Braca theater. I want you to open your mouth. Whatsoever has been eating that has been eating deep into your life, that has been causing destruction in your life. We destroy them tonight. Destroy them tonight. Let the sword of the Lord destroy them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the sword of the Lord God Almighty destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Let the sword of the Lord God Almighty destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't have pity on anything, in, 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 any totem, whatsoever animal they are using, be it alligator, be it crocodile, be it a snake, be it serpent of any kind. We cut them to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. We cut them to pieces and we destroy them. We destroy them. We cut them to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I urge you to pray. While we are praying, I, want to, I, I, will, I will urge you to pray because as we are going, I will just go the way the Holy Spirit is leading me. And as we are praying, pray. Pray. You might not have another time to say it is time for prayer. Amen. So as we are praying, pray. I decree upon every totem, every animal, whatsoever, every tools. I'm talking about the tools that the satanic kingdom is using to destroy your life. I'm talking about the tools that the enemy is using to destroy what belongs to you. I said, let them be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And he went on to say, he, he, he said there was two little poncho, you know, two little poncho hole on his leg. I pray over his leg in the dream. In the dream, in the dream, the person was able to pray over the, 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 the those things, those spots. And as such, this moment, I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare. Every, every destruction, every, every, every destruction that they have done in our life, whatsoever they have done, I'm talking any evil thing that they have done in our life, this moment, we open our mouth and we pray. We said, let those things be destroyed, be flushed out of our life. Whatsoever they have put, be it any arrow that they have thrown into our life, whatsoever they have done, this moment, we decree by the blood of Jesus, we wash them out of our body in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, we wash them out of our body in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever they projected into our life, any destruction that they have caused in our life, be it in our financial status, be it in our marital status, be it in our career, be it in our career, be it in our health, this moment we wash them out of our body in the mighty name of Jesus. By the fire of God, by the Holy Ghost fire, let the fire consume, burn them out of our body in the mighty name of Jesus. Burn them out of our body in the mighty name of Jesus. All their plans will not stand, neither will it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. We scatter them by the blood of Jesus. We burn them out by the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Just as the testifier, as the testifier pray in the dream, we pray and we pray and we pray with the Declare. The Bible says you shall declare a thing, you shall decree it, and it will come to pass. And this woman will decree that whatsoever they have done, any effect out of their wickedness, this moment we put them on, we will destroy them, we wash them out of our body in the mighty name of Jesus. Every wickedness, every harm that they have caused, every harm that they have caused in the life of our children, in the life of our loved ones, on our business, on, on our life, on everything that concerns us, we wash them out in the mighty name of Jesus. We wash them out in the mighty name of Jesus. We wash them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever, wherever they have caused that, wherever they have come on to let it come, to let it begin to, to, to happen. Whatsoever they have done, that after that, that sickness will begin to, you know, we will begin to seek one kind of sickness or the other. 
this woman will say, by the blood of Jesus, we wash everything, every effect of wickedness in our life, we wash them out in the mighty name of Jesus. By fire, by the broom of fire, we sweep them out, we sweep them out. By the broom of fire, we sweep them out. Every wickedness of the wicked in our life, we sweep them out with the broom of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. We sweep them out by the broom of fire in the mighty name of Jesus with the Holy Ghost fire, with the Holy Ghost power, with the Holy Ghost fire. We sweep them out of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil messenger, every evil messenger sent to come and cause destruction in our life. Cash fire, cash fire, cash fire, cash fire, cash fire. Cash fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil messenger sent from the cup of the enemy to come and cause destruction, to come and cause pain, to come and cause sickness, to come and cause barrenness, to come and, and scatter our marriage, to come and destroy our ministry, to come and destroy the, what, the works of our hand, to come and destroy our career. This woman, with the broom of fire, we sweep them out of our life in the mighty name of Jesus, out of our life in the mighty name of Jesus, out of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Every agent that they have sent that did not allow us to do, to, to fulfill the, the plan of God here on earth, this moment we say, let fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And uh, he said, he said, I pray over his leg in the dream and the hole disappeared. I decree, open your mouth and begin to declare. Say, my father, my father, every wicked act of the enemy in my life, let it disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them disappear out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus, out of the life of my children, out of the life of my children, out of the life of my children, out of the life of my spouse, out of the life of my husband, out of the life of my wife, out of the life of my brothers and sisters, out of the life of my mothers, out of the life of my sister, out of the life of my father. Open your mouth and begin to declare every evil, every evil of the wicked, every evil, every art, every craft, every craft, every craft of the enemy from the witchcraft coven, let them disappear out of our lives by the by fire by force in the mighty name of jesus by fire by force in the mighty name of jesus christ in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen and he said he said there was one lady in the dream who i know to be an apostle she was writing a fedit against the person responsible for the alligator to pay me compensation for the alligator biting my son, my son's leg. I thank God for victory over the life of my son. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. He said there was a fedit. There was a fedit. There was a fedit. That means there was someone. They summoned that person who was responsible. This moment we summon, begin to summon every wicked person in your life. Whether the person is from your household, whether the person is from your neighbor, whether the person is far 
far away from you, but this moment we summon them into the presence of God. Say, so let the judgment of God come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the judgment of God come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the judgment of God come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the judgment of God come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not go, go free. They will not go scot free in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them compensate. Let them restore everything that they have done and the Bible has said that when, when they catch a thief, he will do what? He will pay seven times for what he has stolen. As such, the compensation, oh, for what they have done in our life, the compensation for what they have stolen from our life, the compensation for the evil act that they have done in our life, Oh Lord, let them release it, be released to us, be released to us, be released to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be released to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said, let it be released for every evil thing that they have done, for that thing that they have caused, that, that dead thing that they have caused. They cause death in your finances. They cause death in your health. They cause sickness. They cause pain. Let them repair for every art. Let them repair for every art. Let them repair for every art in the mighty name of Jesus. They compare compensation for their wickedness, the compensation for their wicked art. Let we take them, we take them, we take them, we take them, we take them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's open our Bible to the book of Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 19. Man libra skunda li kasinta yara. Oh, rekalidra bakasinta. Leviticus chapter 19. Yes, first mm. Anyway, let's just go to the point. Because we are talking about this is the bond of balance and God is going to balance every situation in our lives. There is instruction to every man, to every power, to every whatsoever that has been standing or that has been rising up as a strong man in your life, in our life. He says... He says, you shall have honest care, honest weight, and honest effort, and an honest him. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Okay, let me read from 35 so that you will understand. He said, you shall do no injustice in judgment. They shall, he said, you shall do no injustice in judgment in measurement of, of length, weight, or volume. There shall be no injustice concerning what belongs to you. There shall be no injustice Concerning the length of your blessing, there shall be no injustice concerning the weight of your blessing. 
there shall be no injustice in the measurement of your blessings. You see, you shall, you shall have just balances, just weight, a just apron, and a just him. I am the Lord you are going, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. So whatsoever that, whosoever you get encounter with, it shall be a honest way. It shall be a balance. There shall be balances. A just ba a ba balances. He said you shall have just balances. Honest care. So in this month, you are, the measurement of your blessings will not, nobody will cheat you. You shall do no injustice in judgment, in measurement of length, weight, or volume. And that is your portion tonight. In every length of your blessings, weight of your blessings, or volume of your blessings, there shall be no injustice in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, Father, Father, in this month of April, there shall be no injustice. There shall be no injustice in judgment, in measurement of the length of my blessings, the weight of my blessings, and the volume of my blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, in this month of April, there shall be no injustice there shall be no injustice in judgment, in measurement of length of my blessings, in measurement of weight of my blessings, in measurement of, of volume of my blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In this month of April, in this month of April, there shall be there shall be no injustice. There shall be no injustice in judgment, in measurement of my blessings. In land, there shall be no injustice. In in, 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 in weight, there shall be no injustice. In volume, there shall be no injustice. The, the, what belongs to you is what will be released to you in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how big it is, as is in that testimony. He said the blessings was like a mountain. Even no matter how great, how big they are, you will carry it because it belongs to you. You will not leave anyone behind. You will carry all of, all of them with, by the power of the Lord God Almighty. You will carry your blessings. You will carry your blessings. There shall be no injustice. There is no injustice in this month of April. There is no injustice. I said no injustice in your blessings. No injustice in measurement of your blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare in this month of April, no injustice, no injustice in judgment, no injustice in measurement, in no injustice in measurement of our blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, no injustice, no injustice, no injustice, no one will do you. Hey, no one will do you the more you look, the less you see. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not blindfold you to take what belongs to you in the mighty name of Jesus. What belongs to you is what you will take in the mighty name of Jesus. I say what belongs to you is what you will get in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. <clears throat> In this month of April, for you to maximize your blessing, you need to apply John Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 in your life. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. 
that says, but seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. So for you to maximize your blessings, for you to maximize your blessings in this month of April, seek the kingdom of God. Balance it up. Balance it up. You, are not, you will not just say, I'm looking at everything concerning me should be balanced. But make sure that you balance your own side. Yes. And like the accountant, when they balance the debit, they also balance the credit side. So balance everywhere because in your life. Balance it. Seek, seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So in this month of April, seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Don't just seek for wealthy things. Don't just seek for material things, but seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things, all other things that you are looking for, they shall be added unto you. I'm talking of good health will be yours. When you seek the kingdom of God, you will not go there in, in, in sickness. You will, have a, you will have a good health in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you will have a good health in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say in this month of a prayer, Father, give me the grace to seek ye, to seek the kingdom of God, to seek your kingdom and your righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me the grace to seek your kingdom and your righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray that prayer. Begin to pray that prayer that in this month of April, in this month of April, give me the grace to seek your kingdom and your righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus to maximize my blessings, to all I decided and nothing will change it. I will seek only that which is profitable to oh, that will that will lead me to the kingdom of God, the righteousness, the righteousness of God, the righteousness of God is what I will seek. Anything that will that will anything. Mm that will promote the kingdom of God is what I will seek and his righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 11 says, Proverbs chapter 6 verse 11, it says, it says, a just balance and scales are the Lord's. All the weight in the bag are his work. Amen. So that's why you need to seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness. In this month, for you to be balanced in every area, you need to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Because as Proverbs chapter 16, verse 11 says, it says, a just balance and scales are the law. So who can balance everything in one's life? It is the Lord that can balance every situation in one's life. When you, when the Lord balance everything in your life, he said, all in all the weight, in the bag are his work. So every weight in the bag, already has said that all these things shall be added unto you, the good things. And it comes to the Proverbs to tell you that all those things in the bags, they are from where? They are, they are from the Lord. They are the works of the Lord. They are the works of the Lord. Yes. So I want you to take note of that. It is important in this month of April in the mighty name of Jesus. It is important in this month of April in the mighty name of Jesus. It is important for you and I 
It is important in the mighty name of Jesus. For Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1 says, it says, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Amen. Injustice is an injustice to you in this month of April. It is abomination. You didn't get it. It says, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. But a just weight is his delight. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Yes, we're going to pray. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Injustice to you is abomination. It is an abomination. Injustice in marriage, injustice in your career, injustice in your job place, injustice in your market, Injustice in your businesses, injustice in your health, injustice towards you. Any kind of injustice that you are experiencing now, it is an abomination, especially this month of April. From now henceforth, every injustice directing towards you is abomination in the mighty name of Jesus. As far as you have seen the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Any injustice that is directed to you is abomination. As such, it will not stand. It will never come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every injustice directed to me in my job place, in my career, in my home, in my family, they will not stand, neither will they come to pass. Oh, Lord, my God, destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, destroy them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, destroy them by fire. Every injustice I'm experiencing in my marriage, in my home, in my career, in my job. Father, today, destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every injustice from the camp of the enemy to wear you down, to destroy what belongs to you, to destroy what belongs to you. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every injustice directed towards me from the witchcraft covenant, cash fire, 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 every injustice directed towards my family from the camps of the enemy, from the witchcraft covenant, from the marine kingdom. I say cash fire tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Whosoever is responsible for that injustice that is better upon me, let it cash fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it cash fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it cash fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it cash fire, cash fire, cash fire, cash fire. Cash fire in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Libaka Sundali Raka Sintarawakanda. 
He kaliba kasia tayaraba. Re kapapa kasinta ya. In the brass kula pakada re kasinta. Leke de de gaziga la braga sintara. Rakala pakayata. Rababa bakasiga la bayata. E kala pakasula bayata. Re kala pakasika yata. Le brakasika yata. Because of injustice, they throw you out. They throw you out. They throw you out. They did not allow you to enjoy the full benefit of what you're supposed to enjoy. Because of injustice, you are down for one element or the other. Because of injustice that was meted upon you, you are suffering lack. You are suffering lack. Your purse, your pocket, your, your storehouse has become empty because of the injustice that was better upon you. What belongs to you was taken from you. Oh, the portion that you inherited was taken from you, was forcefully through injustice by the calm of the enemy. It was taken from you, but tonight by the Word of God, by the power of God, we say restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Full restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Full restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayer. I believe we are praying. I believe we are praying. Tonight as it comes, yes, as it comes, is for us to just pray and pray and pray. Pray and pray and pray. If you observe from the beginning, it was all about the prayer. And even up till this time. So it is all about prayer for tonight. Yes, Calibra Scalapaya and the Labraca Sunta Yata. Re Calibra Casunda Rabayata. Re Calibra Sintaya. E Calapayata. He said, A just balance and scale are the Lord's, and the work in the back his work. A just balance. Liba Bacasunta Libra Cayata and the Oh, regede de gazila bayata naya. Shanda braskula payata. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, shalabada. Libra sinta yara. Rakala pakayata. Rapa sun la libra kayata. Shalabada ba. Reka libra kasinta yara. Rapa kasila bakayata. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Mm. In this month of April, As it is written in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 11, that the just balance and scale are the Lord's. So all the weight in the bag and his work. In this month of April, a just balance, faithful. For a just balance, you shall receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Faithful, for a just balance is what you will receive in the mighty name of Jesus. In whatsoever you lay your hands on, in whatsoever that you touch, that is what you will receive in the mighty name of Jesus. That is what you will receive in the mighty name of Jesus. A just balance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.
Amen. So take this before we run off. He said, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as you are so prospering. When there is balance equation, physically you will prosper. Spiritually, you will do what? You will prosper. You will be in good health. It's a us, just as your soul prospers. So as your soul prosper, it will not only be spiritual thing. That is the accent of this very scripture. So John chapter one, verse two. It's a beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things. That is, you will balance in every situation, in all area. Physically, you will be balanced in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will be, you will balance spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus. In all things, in all things, and be in health, in good health. So when you can say everything is balanced, is when, when you prosper in all things, when you are in good health, and when you are so prosper. For your life to be balanced, you will prosper in all things, you will be in good health, and you will, your soul also will prosper. So we are going to pray. We are going to pray. This way we are going to pray before we run it off. Say, so Father, in this month of April, balance, balance me up in every area. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me prosper me in all things. Prosper me in all things. And let me be in good health. Just as my soul prospered in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare in this month of April, I will prosper. I will prosper. I will prosper in everything. 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 I will prosper and be in good health. I will prosper and be in good health. In this month of April, I will be in good health. I will prosper and 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 be in good health. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Saying, Jesus, mighty name we have prayed you will prosper physically in the mighty name of jesus i say you will prosper physically in the mighty name of jesus you will be in good health in the mighty name of jesus and your soul will prosper in the mighty name of jesus physically you will prosper in health you will be in good health in in spiritual you will prosper as well. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody open your mouth and begin to thank God. Begin to say, thank you, Father, for balancing my life up physically, spiritually, in health. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. To run it up tomorrow, tomorrow's service will be a communion service. So be part of that communion. Be part of that service and partake in that communion. 
to wash everything, to wash everything that is not of God in your life and to deposit, to add what he needed to add for your life to be balanced in this month of April. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus.